Good morning. Uh, my name is Robert Meisen. Um, I'm just going to do a super quick introduction. Uh, I am from the UK, live in Sweden. Um, speak three languages, Spanish, Swedish, English. Uh, I am the IT education program lead at Polham Skolan. Uh, it's a vocational school in Jävla in Sweden, training mostly students for SMB, enterprise network and security deployments. Consulting sometimes on the side, and if I have energy at the end of the week, I make videos on YouTube for home labs, network security, and Linux, a lot of evangelism. What is FOSS by Stealth? Quite simply, it's about growing open source grassroots everywhere. The reasons for that should be aware to all of you, so I'm not going to try and preach to the choir. But why do we care? Every single Frost project was born out of someone's idea to help other people. And also, open source software tends to come with it in absence of certain motives. The focus tends to be on user experience, driving forward a certain mission or goal that they had when they started development in the first place. And we should also honor the work that's done in FOSS and privacy. When I was putting together this presentation, actually, I was trying to come up with like, okay, there are like five companies, you know, the top five companies that do all the software and services for all the organizations we use. And actually, I found it very difficult to find five. We are scarily reliant on just like basically two companies. There are Microsoft, it's Google. It's very difficult to find a third in organizations. And we kind of rely just on these two companies. Um, and that's like a monoculture of software and services that is just not sustainable. So only projects like Nextcloud, for example, can deliver things like privacy and, very importantly, data custody, which is a massive issue right now. To have a solution firstly requires a problem. And as far as I see it, there are two main actors. IT policy makers, typically within governments and municipalities, and companies. IT policy makers, for the most part in my experience, are not the most technical people. They're more organizational, they're more political. Uh, and yet they make decisions that have huge, huge implications for the people below them, usually irregardless of privacy or user experience. Um, in my own municipality, they make a decision that affects thousands of people even if we use and have completely different use cases. And because these people are usually less technical, they listen to the loudest in the room. Companies. More money means you shout louder, and often the case is, if you speak to 100 people, not people like us, obviously, but not, people outside of this conference, if you ask 100 people, 99 out of them would not have heard of Nextcloud. And that is part of the main problem. The solution is to seize every opportunity that we possibly can to grow uh, FOSS uh, from the grassroots, from the ground up, whether that's at home, whether that's at work, even if it's a single process within a larger workflow that you have. In this presentation, I'm actually announcing like, publicly that I've been doing a stealth uh, project in my own organization where I've been using a combination of Nextcloud, Mattermost, and only Office and no one has noticed. In a year, I've been doing all of the stuff that, I've been, that my job requires and more, because actually I've got better control over custody and data. So there's a few people who do know that I've been doing this. They've watched me do it, and they're really like, oh, this is really cool. We like this software. And that kind of proves the point that demonstrating the software is much better than advertising it. And this is kind of like planting the seeds. You know, there are lots of examples here, but I'm kind of running short on time. I teach my students. Nextcloud is one of the first applications that I show students. They install it. They use it for their entire studies for two years. That's what they use. Then they go out, and that's what they want to use. That's kind of planting the seeds, which ultimately brings me back to that is what open source is, right? Planting seeds. The more seeds we plant, the more grassroots we have. Nextcloud, for all of the awesome work that you guys do, they have a very finite team. They go after the whales. They go after the organizations and the companies to try to get Nextcloud adopted 
in more places than they can possibly do. But we, everyone else, there are thousands, tens, hundreds, millions of open source users, and I think that we can do more to promote FOSS and privacy-based software right from the ground up. That is my goal, and I would like to hopefully have that with everyone else. We can share ideas, and that's why uh, I wanted to give this talk, because this is something I'm very passionate about. I think that we could do a lot of work that we can help companies like Nextcloud. Uh, thank you very much for the talk.